Welcome back to Echo Base Network, guys. I'm your host, Nick, and today we are going to be taking a look at the just a small clip of this Kathleen Kennedy interview over at IGN. And then I got a couple other things I'm going to show after we play this little clip that should make uh, her words here a little bit more interesting. Uh, but let's go ahead and get to this first part here, and then uh, we'll take a look at the other things that I got. Yeah, and for all the movies that we did hear about today, we do know that there, have, there are some that have been shelved. Well, they haven't been shelved. Oh. Most things haven't been shelved. Development is a complicated long-term oh, process been shelved, some okay. people we we're dealing with scheduling yeah because obviously or creative really differences people are working mm -hmm. so we don't it, it's often not a shelving it's it's just is it ready yeah. that's really what it comes down to yeah hmm. so okay. i'm thinking about kind of projects like rogue squadron yeah. and kevin feige's project so could those still feige. see the well, light of day kevin feige's project was something feige. announced in woman the press or I suppose yeah, yeah. fandom, mm -hmm. but there was nothing, nothing ever press. got developed. Right. We never discussed an idea. We never did, discussed you know, as anything. everybody knows, Kevin's a the huge fandom. Star Wars fan. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, if he did come up with something, I would be all ears, but that's never really happened. So mm -hmm. it's not an abandoned right, project. Right. It just didn't happen. Liar. Now rogue squadron. Any chance? Rogue squadron. That definitely is something that we still talk about, whether it's a movie or whether it ends up being in the series space. That's definitely something. So uh, the fandom leaked it. Like basically she was saying like, it's not anything official. You know, the, the, the fandom, the, the news, the leakers leaked it. Okay. Interesting. Let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this other clip here. Kevin Feige, diehard Star Wars fan, owner of multiple Hasbro Jabba sail barges, and president of Marvel Studios, will now be able to add Star Wars producer to his list of achievements. That's right. With the close of the Skywalker saga, Kevin Feige is set to co-produce an upcoming Star Wars movie with Kathleen Kennedy in a new era of Star Wars storytelling. Hmm. Interesting. So, that was the official Star Wars YouTube channel. That video came directly from them. But let's just let's listen to it one, one, one more time, just just so we make sure what they actually said. Kevin Feige, diehard Star Wars fan, owner of multiple Hasbro Jabba sail barges and president of Marvel Studios, will now be able to add Star Wars producer to his list of achievements. That's right. With OK, so he'll be able to add Star Wars producer to his achievements. OK, so I guess he is involved in a project, according to the official Star Wars YouTube page and their official employees i guess their fandom the close of the skywalker saga kevin feige is set to co-produce an upcoming star wars movie with kathleen kennedy in a new era of star wars storytelling hmm but they never talked about it hmm interesting kevin feige die so let's take a look at another uh, article that was dropped just 10 months ago on the feige star wars movie the world of Star Wars has found its home for the foreseeable future on the small screen with Obi-Wan Kenobi currently streaming and or coming later this year, 2023, bringing Mandalorian Season 3, Ahsoka, and the latest announced series Skeleton Crew. The future is burning bright on the small screen. Ooh, that did not age well. However, as we learned at Star Wars Celebration, hope is not lost in the world of Star Wars films. Michael Waldron is working on Kevin Feige's script now. At this past weekend, Star Wars Celebration in Anaheim, Kathleen Ke Kennedy com commented that the next Star Wars film will be Taika Waititi's hinting that it would drop in 2023. And while we do not know much about other announced projects, Ron Johnson's trilogy or Patty Jenkins' Rogue Squadron, we, we know all about it now. Uh, Michael Waldron gave a tiny glimpse into the Kevin Feige produced Star Wars movie. When Feige was first announced as producing a Star Wars movie, it was soon announced that they'd be bringing Waldron on as the writer for the film. Waldron is no stranger to working with Feige. The writer created Loki and was on the soul and was the sole writer on Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. According to Screen Rant, while Waldron was on an episode of Deadline's Hero Nation podcast, he offered his minor update on Feige's Star Wars film. When asked about Loki Season 2, 
Waldron revealed that Eric Martin had taken over as head writer for the MCU series. Waldron's involvement has been limited due to his work on another project, saying, obviously, I'm kind of busy off writing this little Star Wars movie as well. So there you have it. Feige Star Wars movie is currently being worked on at the script level. Unfortunately, there isn't much more we know about the script or the film. So these are people that contractors, you know, whatever. I, I, I'm sure that, that most of these writers are probably just contractors or not official Lucas film employees. But you don't start writing that stuff unless you've had a conversation and kind of been given the go ahead to go ahead and start coming up with stuff and then uh and then you know show them what you came up with uh it's you're, you're not just gonna write something and jump off of a, one show to go write something else that was never discussed about or never talked about so kathleen kennedy hmm Let's listen to her one more time. See well, the light of day. Kevin Feige's project was something announced in the press or I suppose yeah, yeah. fandom. Mm -hmm. But there was no liar. Huh, exactly. Liar. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Am I reading too much into it? Or does this evidence not add up? Am I missing something? If you guys got anything else to add or just want to give your thoughts on this, leave a comment below, like, subscribe if you haven't already. And as Coach always says, we are, you are, Echo Base Network. Until the next one, we'll see y'all later. Boom, canceled.